Right now, a group of experienced hikers is getting ready to retrace Northern California history. It's been 174 years since the infamous Donner Party saga. Well, what about the efforts to save them? It was a walk from Donner Lake to Wheatland, known as the Forlorn Hope Journey. KCR3's Brian Hickey is live at Donner Lake with us this morning, where the group's historic trip will begin. Good morning. And it already started. They were out of here. They said a few words, read some letters, actually, from relatives of the families of the Forlorn Hope group, and then they were they took off. Uh, they, these ultra-distance runners uh, didn't let any grass grow to their feet if grass was growing up here in the snow this morning. But we are here at the Donner Memorial State Park, where you can see the memorial to the Donner Party. And this is where a group known as the Forlorn Hope group set out, 17 of them, 10 men, 5 women, and 2 children, set out on a journey to try to seek help from Wheatland. So from Donner Lake to Wheatland, and that is the trail that this group is attempting to retrace today. But I, really, there isn't a trail. They've had to go out and through seven years of research, try to discover where the Forlorn Hope group went. And to the best of their research, they've got a plan in place. And we've got some of their relatives right here. We've got Sophia and Travis Hemmen. Your mom, Jennifer, is out there right now walking through the snow. How do you feel about this? Uh, it's awesome. I mean, I'm so glad that she's able to do this for herself. This is something she's really passionate about, and I think they're the right people to tell their story. And I watched your mom on Eco Challenge Fiji yeah. in beast mode and Team Curl. I love the show. She's awesome. So, Travis, I have no doubt she is prepared for anything that this mountain can throw at her, although the climate's a little different here than Fiji. Yeah, she's really excited. And one of her life sort of lessons is get out, do things with other humans. And with COVID, it's been very hard. So I think the timing of this event is perfect because we're all tired. We all want to be together and go do something active. So I'm excited about this trip for that. And, and when you look at the, the group, I mean, she's with a, a very, um, a group that has accomplished a lot. I mean, you've got uh, Tim Tweetmeyer, who has finished the uh, Western States Trail 25 times. He's won the race five times. And I should say all, all 25 of those trips were sub 24 hour journeys on that 100 mile endurance race. So these people know how to suffer. Yes, yeah, pain tolerance, she said. High pain tolerance, exactly. Oh, yeah. Do you have a little bit of that in you? Yes, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's distance learning and finals. Distance, oh, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, we're right. having a different journey right now. All right, well, school. they're somewhere between here and Donner Summit right now. They last time we saw them, they're heading up uh, what looked like towards Old Forty as they're getting ready to head up to the Donner Summit, and then from there, uh, probably head. To, uh, I think they're ending their Big Bend or somewhere along those uh, that area tonight. So a pretty big day ahead of them of uh, hiking, and you can follow them forlornhope.org. They've got a little spot beacon that's setting up every five minutes a locator, and so you can actually track their progress on their map. And their website has a great history of the Forlorn Hope group, um, all the research that they've done, and how they hope to honor what that team set out to do to rescue uh, what remained of the Donner Party here uh, stuck in the snow. Back to you guys. What a support team. <laughs> it's great. That is great. All right, thank you, Brian.